Hello and welcome. I am Subh and today we are playing Project Hospital. And this is episode 2 of the tutorial series of how to play Project Hospital. So, last episode we saw how to deal with patients and we were I guess four patients we treated four patients right so today on the second tutorial of the campaign series we will see most probably how to build a hospital because I cannot see any hospital right there so most probably they will teach us how to build a new hospital so let's get on with it hi boss we also know that diagnosing was not the only thing that you did you were also good at building hospitals yeah so was I so welcome to this nice property we recently acquired. Let us refresh a little bit on how to build and equip your own very hospital. Oh sorry, very own hospital and what options they are. There are. Okay, sure. Alright, let's build a nice little clinic first. Sure. Let's switch to a building mode. You can click the button on the top left corner of the screen to just push the F16 button. The important step is laying down foundation. The foundation tool is already selected already cover an area big enough to house at least three rooms for example 20 by 20 times okay uh, let's start here and let's go big no big 30 by 25 yeah that sounds good okay excellent now here's a quick summary of what's available to build there are five main categories foundations constructions doors and windows objects and prefabs right each category is further divided into subcategories. Don't forget there is a tool tip for each category and item with more info. Okay. Now that we have a place to build, we need to design our core plan. A very basic unit of every hospital is an emergency part. Sure, you're right. Select management mode to see which rooms we will definitely need to make the emergency department operation. Uh, select management mode. That's the management mode. Okay. Rooms are divided into mandatory red number, into mandatory red number. Okay. And optional rooms green number. Okay. Some rooms are shared between departments. Let's place one of each: a doctor's office, a waiting room, and a restroom. They are are also needed for working clinic. Okay. Uh, first, let's place a doctor's office. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Like this, maybe? Uh, let's go... What? Minimum size is 4 by 4 Okay, let's go double of it, 8 by 8 Okay, achievement unlocked You shall not pass! Oh. Build room without doors Without door access Yay, we did! Okay, fine and then we need to build a waiting room we'll build a waiting room like this this whole area will be a waiting room and we'll build a restroom the restroom will be let's say uh, six by six no uh, let it be like ten by six yeah okay let's build some walls you can build them in the building mode under the construction category uh -huh. and then we go construction then floors and then we go build walls we'll click the just the basic one okay drag and drop uh -huh. okay it's quite intuitive uh let's just if i see if i did some mistake no. yep i did see right there okay so what about this area this and then this and let's see what else am i missing okay we all good and then great not required walls are sometimes not required for rooms to function but some objects need to be hung on the wall okay you can also close wall door and whether or choose wall door and whether you build walls in a line or in a rectangular pattern okay the different option tools are always shown at the bottom of the building panel bottom of the building panel build walls drag rectangular walls delete walls 
create rectangular walls. Okay, fine, I get it. You can also build various types of floors, doors, and windows. Don't forget to place doors. So your rooms and building itself are accessible. When you are happy with your setup, click next. Uh huh. So what's this? This a uh, pillars. What's this? Doors and windows, right? Uh, what's this? Glass door, sliding double doors. Yes, that's what I like to see. Uh, let's say show all walls. Yes, please. We'll build our door here and then let's say a white door on the bathroom area uh -huh. and let's do this and let's build a let's just build a white door plain simple it works uh -huh. and let's go to the planning waiting room let me just increase the size of the waiting room. It seems as if I did a mistake. So we'll just increase it to here. And after his office also we will increase. It's up to here and it goes up to here. Yeah, that covers it nicely. Now what? Place doors. Uh-huh. And let's go place some windows yeah that sounds good and one here and one here yeah that sounds good oh yeah and the toilet requirement just here that's it and the press button mm, we are civilized people not toilets Okay, click next. Let's focus on furnishing the rooms. Okay, simply click on the floor of any of the rooms. Okay, panel shows furniture and equipment that is either mandatory or or recommended yellow for the room. Okay, let's get on. Mandatory items show some also alternatives. For example, all equipment cabinets, but you also need only one. Hmm. Okay, sure. You can rotate objects by pressing R or middle mouse button. Okay, cool. Right mouse button cancels correct selection. Some objects need additional equipment to work. Okay, if the object in scene is tinted blue, you can hover over it or the floor under it and see what other equipment it needs. It will be blue in the equipment panel. Uh, sorry, what? Okay, cool. Okay, fine. Now equip your rooms. When placing objects, arrows on the ground will show which direction it can be accessed. Right. So let's place some benches. This is the fun part of building, of management type one. You know? One, two, that's two, and that's three, and that's four. And let's do this, 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 and this. Okay, we will just shift to here and we will shift to here. And let's see, we will need an info TV. Um, that's like one, two, and then here. Uh, no, over here, no. Let's do here, yeah. Info TV, Q machine. Okay, and let's say we have a coffee vending machine and a vending machine, and of course, a mirror. Mirror? Why do you need a mirror? No, we don't need a mirror. I'm sorry. And anything do we need? Fancy chair. Visitor seats, chair, wooden chair, water, no, nothing. Furniture and accessories. Ooh. Okay, cool. Uh huh. And there is no reception. We don't need to build a reception. Okay, cool. Let's see. Bathroom. One here, one here, and one here. We will build some walls for privacy. Let's say here and 
Little Hair, Mon Tail Hair, and we'll close it up like this. And then we'll build some doors. White door, of course. Oh, okay, we need to build the walls, right? Uh huh. And then let's see, we need a hand dryer, yes, please. Two hand dryers, one sink, definitely. Lab sink, okay. That works, right. Let's just say over here and over here. And we can put a plastic dump over here. We'll put some mirror over here. And another mirror over here. Okay, anything else? Sink. Oh, okay, sorry. So that was supposed to be sinks. Let's delete them, let's delete them, and let's give them sinks. Right. Washing the hands. Trash bin also. We'll put the trash bin here. Just outside, so you can use it. Dry your hands and then throw your shit. Yes, that's what I think it should be. And what else do we need? Sanitary equipment. Yes, please. That is very, very important. We should not only cater to men, but also to women. Anything else? Nope. Okay, let's move on to the doctor's one. Ooh, that's a lot of things. Okay, first of all, let's put the exam table. Let's say here. And what is this? Audiometer. Uh-huh, okay, biohazard trash bin, uh-huh, eye test, kitchen sink, lab sink, okay, mm -hmm. PC, okay, laptop, uh-huh, equipment table, office desk, let's first put an office desk, let's put it here, at one corner, office chair, and then let's put a PC. Oh, okay. Now I got it. Okay, so basically, the thing is, once you place it, so you take the PC, and the PC needs to go down. And then you need to place it right there. It's like fix it down, but not at above. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Fine. Uh, let's put a printer. See? Yeah. Now you get it, right? Okay. Let's put what is this? Where examinations and treatment procedures take place. Mobile egg. That's that. I have no idea what that is. Okay. Medical light. Uh -huh. and then we need an eye test area let's say we put the eye test area here and then equipment table okay equipment table can go here let's say here and a whiteboard for doing calculations and all that things I don't know Let's put a sink just outside there. There needs to be a biohazard bin just inside the key and another trash bin over here. Let's say side by side. That's the CRP scan. Okay. Uh, it needs to be on the table, right? Okay. And anything else? An audio meter. So let's put another table, equipment table, and let's put the audio meter. 
square table, bookcase. Of course, we need a bookcase. Which doctor have you ever seen that does not have a bookcase? Everyone has it. So we put bookcase one and bookcase two and then bookcase three. You know, extra. And a bookshelf. So the bookshelf goes just above on the wall, right? So we'll put one here. Yeah, that looks good. So the optional equipment usually contains decorations or objects that don't serve a particular purpose in a given room, but improve the environment. Now all we need for function cleaning is a doctor. We can we will hire one with the help from our game tutorial. In-game tutorial. There are also available in sandbox. Please select in-game tutorials. This one. Okay. Select hiring and follow the instructions to hire a doctor for emergency cleaning. Hiring new staff. Select management mode. Okay. And then next click on a workplace in your chosen room left side for day shift right side for night shift okay and then we click which profession you need doctors of course mandatory professions are highlighted in red recommended in yellow okay sure select all available employees and they will be assigned to the workplace Tip: be aware of their perks Okay, 547, 565, 157, 445. We will take you. Achievement unlocked. You have hired your first employee. Yay! Okay, folks. So the time is up, and I guess we will see you on the next tutorial series of Project Hospital where you complete the campaign and tune in for episode 3 of Project Hospital. Ciao.